Welcome back to another dark and revealing episode of WTN Media. For those who dare to venture into this shadowy world, you might remember our last expedition in I Explored the Dark Web in 2023. For those seeking the knowledge to explore this hidden realm themselves, that video is your guide. Today, we embark on a new journey. With the aid of Tales and VirtualBox, we will delve into the dark net markets of 2023, unraveling their mysteries and showcasing their hidden treasures. But be warned, dear viewer, the dark web is no place for the faint of heart. What we're about to explore involves content that some may find disturbing. Proceed with caution, for curiosity leads us down a path from which there may be no return. Fasten your seatbelts, engage your curiosity, and prepare to witness the unseen world that lies beneath the surface of the net lies before us, a hidden path that only the informed can traverse. With tales as our compass and virtual box as our vessel, we begin the descent into an uncharted realm. But let's pause here. These places are not mere marketplaces. They are reflections of human desires, both noble and nefarious. Some seek medicine they cannot otherwise afford. Others look for freedom from oppressive regimes. But in these dark corners, there are also those who trade in items and services that cross ethical boundaries. Each click reveals a new layer, a new world, a new story. The products, the vendors, the buyers, all anonymous, all hidden behind the veil of the dark web. As we explore these markets, we discover their multifaceted nature. Yes, there are dangers, there are items that may shock and disturb, but there are also insights into a world driven by need, rebellion and sometimes desperation. We are not mere spectators, we are explorers, seeking understanding in a world that many fear. But we must tread carefully, for the path is fraught with risk. The Dark Web, a maze shrouded in mystery with concealed passages and enigmatic alcoves. This bewildering expanse demands guidance and the torchbearers guiding our shadowy expedition are none other than wikis. But what, in essence, are wikis? Wikis transcend mere web pages. They are pulsating networks, composed of interlinked pages that enable users to forge, reshape or erase content. They are the lifeblood of the dark web, constantly adapting with the collaborative efforts of hidden users. In this obscurity, wikis are our compass, ushering us into realms unknown and unseen. Our voyage shall take us into different wikis, keys to distinct domains of the dark web, the hidden wiki. A treasure chest of obscured knowledge, the hidden wiki reveals trails into the dark web's most mystifying pockets. A plethora of hidden wikis thrives, each bearing its own character. Some have faded into oblivion, others lurk under censorship, and a few even dwell within the clear net. From this profound depth, we've selected a handful that beckons with promises of intriguing discoveries. To begin, one simply needs to search for the hidden wiki on DuckDuckGo, and the initial few links should grant access. Upon entry, a plethora of links unfolds. Some guide you to Bitcoin mixers, cleansing the trail of digital currency. Others lead to distinct wikis, VPNs, and even email providers accessible solely through the Tor browser. Such hidden wikis lay down a rudimentary structure for our forthcoming expedition. Our curiosity piqued, we click on one of these enigmatic links. The page loads and suddenly we're transported to a place that's both unfamiliar and intriguing. The link has taken us to a lesser known wiki, a shadowed repository teeming with information that ranges from the enlightening to the unsettling. Uncensored hidden wiki. This dark corner of the internet is less moderated, filled with a blend of knowledge that can both empower and corrupt. Here, the lines between legality and illegality blur, and one must tread with caution. The uncensored version offers a wilder array of contents, including controversial topics, secret forums and marketplaces that operate on the fringe of legality. A cursory glance reveals links to whistleblower sites, encrypted communication platforms, and black markets selling everything from illicit substances to hacking tools. Yet amid this chaos, one can also find resources for digital rights activism, underground journalism, and support communities for those who seek solace away from prying eyes. We stumble upon an ad, discreetly placed, that piques our curiosity. It's not the darkest corner of the web, but it's far from innocent. 
the market specializes in fraud, hacking tools, counterfeit goods, and money transfers. It's a reminder that the dark web is a complex ecosystem, a place where the lines between legality and illegality blur, reflecting the multifaceted aspects of human desire and ingenuity. we continue our descent into the labyrinthine depths of the dark web, we stumble upon another banner ad on the uncensored hidden wiki. This one promises a gateway to the ultimate hidden wiki, a place where even the most clandestine of markets come to light. Intrigued, we click. The page that loads is unlike anything we've seen so far. It's a more organized, more polished version of the hidden wikis we've visited. Categories are neatly arranged, each promising a deeper dive into the various facets of the dark web. From digital activism to the most nefarious of services, this wiki seems to have it all. Our eyes are drawn to a category labelled Financial Markets. We click and a list of markets unfolds before us. Amidst the usual suspects, Bitcoin mixers, counterfeit money services and hacking tools, there's one that stands out. Imperial Market. Imperial Market is not your run-of-the-mill dark net market. Its website looks like something you'd find on the surface web, complete with a user-friendly interface and even customer testimonials. But don't let the polished look fool you. The Bont Onion domain is a stark reminder that we're still in the depths of the dark web. The market specializes in prepaid and digital card money transfers, selling skimmers and cards tailored for hackers and scammers. They advertise fast shipping and reliable delivery. But what truly catches our eye is their market-proof section. Here, Imperial Market showcases photos and videos of customer orders. Videos feature stacks of hundreds of dollars, some even showing customers depositing these stacks into ATMs. Others display skimmers next to stacks of cards, a chilling testament to the market's reach and efficiency. Our journey takes another turn as we arrive at Kingdom Market, a sprawling marketplace that seems to encapsulate the entire spectrum of the dark web. Unlike other markets, Kingdom Market requires an account for entry. Once past this initial barrier, we're greeted by a homepage that's both organized and unsettling in its offerings. The layout is user-friendly, almost deceptively so, considering the nature of the goods and services on offer. The first category is as straightforward as it gets. Drugs. From cocaine to DMT carts, from marijuana to over-the-counter pills, this section is a pharmacopoeia of both recreational and medicinal substances. The range is both astonishing and terrifying, a testament to the market's reach. Next, we explore the services section. Here, digital manipulation is the name of the game. YouTube likes and Instagram views are available for $6 and $16 respectively. Fake Coinbase and Netflix letters, scam pages, and even Bank of America and Chase accounts are up for grabs. It's a one-stop shop for anyone looking to manipulate digital reality. The security and hosting section is comparatively tame, offering VPN accounts for those looking to cloak their online activities. But even here, the implication is clear. These are tools that can be used for both protection and deception, the miscellaneous section is a bizarre mix. Alongside laboratory equipment and drugs, you'll find porn accounts. It's a hodgepodge that defies easy categorization, reflecting the chaotic diversity of human wants and needs. Jewelry and art is an odd inclusion, offering exactly what it says but in a context that makes you question its origins. Is this stolen art? Are these conflict diamonds? The market leaves these questions tantalizingly unanswered. The identification section is a hacker's paradise, listings for hacked emails abound alongside fake passports from states like Maryland, Texas and Indiana. Fraud Bibles are also available, providing a comprehensive guide to various scams. This section is an education in illegality. Fraud Bibles, Amazon carding methods, exploits and credit card dumps are all available for those looking to expand their illicit skill set. The counterfeit section offers a range of fake phones and ID cards from around the world. France, Spain, Poland, you name it. It's a testament to the global reach of this market. Here, you'll find malware and software designed for more nefarious purposes. Monitoring tools, forensic toolkits and ransomware methods. 
It's a section that underscores the darker possibilities of technology. Finally, the carded items section is primarily focused on pornography, offering yet another glimpse into the diverse range of human desires catered to by this market. Kingdom Market is a microcosm of the dark web itself, a place where the full range of human desires, both noble and nefarious, are on full display. After the expansive Kingdom Market, our next stop is Torzon Market. Smaller and more focused, Torzon requires an account for entry. Once inside, it's clear that this market operates differently. Instead of categories, we see a list of drug vendors, each with a trust level and terms and conditions. Payment options are limited to Bitcoin and Monero, emphasizing the market's focus on anonymity. Our attention is drawn to a vendor named Chemical Drugs, who boasts 955 reviews and 886 sales. They offer a wide range of narcotics, but a quick glance at the category search tab reveals more. Chemical Drugs also sells fraud bibles, counterfeit goods, malware, and tutorials. We decide to click on the LSD category. The page is surprisingly professional, complete with detailed product descriptions, prices, and user reviews. It's a surreal juxtaposition seeing a controlled substance presented with such retail normality. Next, we navigate to the Fraud and Cards section. Here, credit cards from various countries are listed, each with its own price and user reviews. Our final stop is the Guides and Tutorials section. The offerings are as unsettling as they are diverse. Methods for hacking Snapchat passwords, techniques for getting free TVs, webcam bypasses, and even hacked Gmail accounts are all available for purchase. After the focused offerings of Tours on Market, our next destination is Moonkey Market, a site that claims to be a bustling hub with over 13,000 users, 300 plus vendors, and more than 5,000 listings. The scale is impressive, but what truly sets Moonkey Market apart is its feature set. It's not just a marketplace, it's an entire ecosystem. Moonkey Market boasts an internal wallet system, vendor admin dashboards designed for teams, and even a messaging function. But it doesn't stop there. The site also features an online casino where users can deposit cryptocurrency to play bingo and dice. At the time of our visit, the jackpot stands at a staggering $1,600. Additionally, the market has a forum board and a unique section where users can propose new features and improvements. These proposals are subject to a voting mechanism, allowing the community to have a say in the market's development. For any issues, there's a dedicated support page where users can submit tickets. The user interface is the cleanest we've seen so far, blending functionality with aesthetics. Like the others, Moonkey Market requires a login, reinforcing the importance of security and anonymity in this hidden realm. Once inside, the market layout is familiar with categories of drugs and other illegal items. What sets it apart is the level of detail provided for each vendor. Listings are ranked by volume and sales. And vendor profiles offer a wealth of information, including fee percentages, feedback, earnings and volume. It's a level of transparency that adds a layer of trust, or as much trust as one can have in a marketplace of this nature. Moonkey Market is a testament to the evolving sophistication of the dark web. It's not just a place to buy illegal goods, it's a community complete with governance mechanisms, support systems, and even entertainment options. As we emerge from the depths of the dark web, it's time to reflect on what we've seen. From the expansive Kingdom Market to the focused Torzon, and finally to the community-centric Moonkey Market, we've journeyed through a hidden world that is as complex as it is unsettling. These markets are not just platforms for illegal trade. They are microcosms of human desire ingenuity, and sometimes desperation. The dark web challenges our conventional understanding of morality and legality. It's a place where the lines between right and wrong are not just blurred, they're often non-existent. Yet, it's also a realm that serves as a mirror to society, reflecting both its light and darkness. While some may argue that these markets are a haven for criminality, they also offer a glimpse into the resilience of human spirit. 
Whether it's the pursuit of freedom, the quest for knowledge, or even the simple thrill of the gamble, these hidden corners of the internet reveal the lengths to which people will go to fulfill their desires. But let's not forget the risks. The dark web is a place where one wrong click can lead to a world of trouble. It's a realm that demands caution, respect, and a deep understanding of the potential consequences of one's actions. So, as we conclude this exploration, let's remember that the dark web is not just a marketplace for the illegal and the illicit, it's a complex ecosystem that challenges us to confront the darker aspects of human nature, while also reminding us of the incredible potential for innovation and community that exists in even the most hidden corners of the world. Thank you for joining us on this dark but revealing journey. Stay curious, stay cautious, and as always, stay tuned for more from WTN Media.